Columbia Sanders are not only home to majestic and breathtaking mountains, volcanoes and unique geographical zones, but also beautiful cities and little towns. Here are my favorite places in this mountain region. Ibbege. It is a busy medium-sized town with a hot and humid climate. When I arrived, a lot of people were shopping here. Some of the town people played chess, while others took these old-school gypneys. The next day, I decided to take a jeepney by myself and travel it to neighboring village. Villa Restrepo was deep in the mountains. Many plants and animals live in this village. Some of them tried to speak with me. A large waterfalls in the distance called to me and I hiked through the jungles until it got dark. When the darkness came, I went back to my stay with a local family for dinner where they told stories about their culture and regular life here. I spent the next few days exploring my surroundings and simply hiking through the mountains in this peaceful place. And then the time came for the city. Manizales for me associated with cable cars, rain and very steep streets. Basically, living here means daily hiking. Because of that, cable cars here are very common public transportation. They offer an efficient alternative to getting from A to B. the Manzales were was unique geographical zone called Paramo. This zone is found only in South America, particularly the Andes mountain range. Because of the very high altitude, nighttime temperatures here occasionally drop below freezing. Not so far, there is another little town called Rio Sucio. Despite of its size, Rio Sucio is one of the most charming villages in Colombia that I have had a pleasure to visit. This Colombian town has a lot of colorful houses that make it stand out from other areas nearby. I spent about a week in Rio Sucio, explored surrounding areas, and I was amazed by the generosity and kindness of locals. Finally, Medellin. Actually, it has been nicknamed the world's most innovative city by Forbes for its public transport system, consisting of metros, cable cars, trams, as well as other regular forms of transportation. But let's not just focus on the transportation system. Let's look at how the city looks itself. Medellin is definitely one of the most vibrant and noisy cities that you can find in Colombia. 